every single crew member has to buy beads in order to ride, and, and that goes for all crews. Every crew member gets a spot to ride on the float, and that's about 600 bucks. And so if you multiply that times 652 riders that we had this year, people are doing the math right now on their little calculators on their phone. They go, a lot of money. holy <laughs> smokes, are you kidding me? And that's just the average of what we bring to a parade. You know, we estimate that whenever people bring outside throws, you know, they order stuff from online. That number goes over a half a million dollars worth of throws. They are and they're maintained through the year. We hire local artists to continually update them. Uh, We had new floats this year. We had new painting done this year. I mean, we... It's it's an all year thing. Mardi Gras is all year. Now this is all local people. It's not going out of state somewhere. Mm-hmm. It's where you mail all of this stuff. It's all local. Everything that we do, beads, costumes, everything is local. So it's coming back to the community. We have a, a company called So What that does all the same tree for all these costumes. And of course, the first year was in 2005. She had over. A, 190 costumes she had to build the first year. If, if we were, you know, a, a crew fresh out of the gates doing this as year one, right, it's over $2 million, right, in, in floats and, and to store the floats and to, you know, and to all the members to do everything on this page that you're looking at. But, of course, we get to have the floats year after year, and so it doesn't cost us $720,000 a year for the floats, right? They, they depreciate year after year. I mean, sure. the whole accounting of it all. But just to get a parade on the streets uh, year after year is about a million dollars. If it wasn't for the members and the volunteers that put this all together, there is no Mardi Gras. This is Mardi Gras. You know, we bring it. You know, we're proud of it. Um, it's our heritage, and we and we celebrate it. You know, support it. It's important to the community. It's, it's important for everything we do in Louisiana because everyone knows you, you, you say Mardi Gras. The whole nation focuses on Louisiana. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. lacking in Austin. That's right. Right. So it, it's just that important, and we wanted to make sure that we got that word out. Uh, there, there's a festival going on, you know, this weekend that has had, you know, its ups and downs because of weather-related problems over the past, you know, few years. And that's the festival at um, at Cajun Field. Come out and support it. it it's had rainouts. It's had, you know, very cold weather. And that uh, festival is not put on by the city or the state of Louisiana. That is put on by volunteers on behalf of bringing people in to celebrate Mardi Gras. And so I do need to put a plug in for those guys that you need to turn out for the festival. It's important for the, you know, for the success of Mardi Gras in Lafayette.